These are the pyramids at Giza, built by Snefru's descendants in the ongoing royal quest for the perfect pyramid. Of all the ancient civilizations that built pyramids, only the Egyptians were driven to construct them with straight sides, smooth stones that symbolize the sun's rays. They also position these pyramids in a precise north-south, east-west alignment, orienting the dead king inside towards the east so that he could be reborn each morning with the rising sun. The tallest pyramid here at Giza is the tallest on Earth, 50 stories high. It was built by Snefru's son, Khufu, and is known as the Great Pyramid. Khufu's Pyramid at Giza is perhaps the most iconic building in the world. It's the last of the ancient wonders still standing, and it's been the largest man-made structure for most of history since its completion 4,500 years ago. The best preserved pyramid at Giza was built by Khufu's son, Khafre. The remnants of the casing stones still give a sense of the original brilliant white color of these monuments. As the ancient Egyptian civilization declined, this casing stone was quarried away to build pyramids of later kings and much of medieval Cairo. All that's left are the last few blocks at the top of Khafre's pyramid. The last built of the three pyramids is also the smallest. It holds the tomb of Men Re, Snefru's great-grandson. Together, these pyramids stand as the ultimate expression of the religious and political desire of the Egyptian kings to be connected to the sun god in life and after death. 